It's Women's History Month, and one great way to get a fresh perspective through Hollywood. Teresa Strasser's looking at movies written by women on the hot list. Representation is important, not just in front of the camera, but also behind the scenes. And just by knowing that, that just may be the little bit of inspiration that a little girl at home needs in order to grow up and pursue her dream of writing a movie one day. We're celebrating female written films with Rotten Tomatoes correspondent, Naz Perez. So the first movie is 1978's Halloween, which is certified fresh at 96% on the tomato meter. What's the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was. You know that Halloween was directed and co-written by John Carpenter, but you might not know that his co-writer was a woman named Deborah Hill. Deborah actually wrote most of the female's characters' dialogue using her own experience working as a babysitter during her teenage years as inspiration. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare. <laughs> My favorite movie on this list is actually E.T. at 99% certified fresh on the tomato meter. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that E.T. was actually written by a woman named Melissa Matheson. E.T. Phone home. E.T. Phone home. Spielberg was actually working on a concept for a film called Night Skies, which was about aliens that come to Earth to terrorize a family. But the idea never came to fruition. After Spielberg talked to Melissa about the concept for Night Skies, she actually came back eight weeks later with the first draft of a script entitled E.T. and Me, and Spielberg considered her first draft to be perfect. And last but certainly not least is Portrait of a Lady on Fire, which is a French romance drama written and directed by Celine Sciamma, and it's 98% certified fresh on the tomato meter. This film is set in France at the end of the 18th century and is a story about an artist named Marianne. What I love about this film so much is she specifically chose this particular moment in art history because she wanted to draw attention to the hundreds of women painters at that time who had these flourishing careers and have been largely left out of the narrative. Quand vous êtes embarrassé, vous mordez vos lèvres. Vraiment. We're celebrating women written films on the hot list.